Okay, children, so it's day three of maths, and so you've been really thinking over the last two days about how you use the squared paper to create those symmetrical images and how you understand that. And so today I want you to just have a little explore, really, so you can cut cut out different sh different um, squares so that you can do different patterns. And I want you to have a go at doing some of those. These ones here where you do half of it and then someone else has to do the other half so you could challenge your mums and dads and see if they could do it. Um, that might be a good idea. So that's on day, that's on day Wednesday. And then on Thursday, you've got your other piece of paper. And on that, I thought you could get a little bit more creative. So you might want to try and do some animals and see if you can use the squares and colour the squares to make a reflective animal picture. Because so animals are often symmetrical um, if you look at them from the right angle. Or you might come up with uh, flowers or something creative. It would be lovely to see what you come up with. So it's a bit more fun on Thursday for you to explore. But to remember, they have to be symmetrical and you have to know where that line of symmetry is. So you will have to apply some of your thinking too. So I hope that helps for um, Wednesday and Thursday. It should be fairly straightforward and quite a nice activity to do. And uh, don't forget, if you um, want to share, just sit, pop, pop it in your portfolio on the Class Dojo because it'd be lovely to see. Okay, have a good day. Bye.